I would be honored if you would consider voting for it. It's the first time Kathy Salvi has run for statewide office, and she is still introducing herself to many voters. The 63-year-old Republican nominee for Senate compares herself to David versus Goliath in her race against incumbent Tammy Duckworth. I knew when two weeks ago she went negative on TV. That was just what I was hoping for. It shows me that I'm right in the, right in the hunt. Duckworth's most recent television ad is all positive. Service, commitment, honor. In the last weeks before the election, it all, the race always tightens up. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I have no worries that uh, she's going to make up sufficient ground. Duckworth, the incumbent, has a huge fundraising advantage over Salvi, which has allowed her to buy TV ads, while Salvi has relied on other means of getting her message out. All people of goodwill want the type of leadership I could bring. And uh, I'm, I'm anxious to serve and to lead. I think that it's just what we need. Salvi and Duckworth are on opposite sides of several key issues in the race. Tammy Duckworth ranks the top three issues facing Illinois residents as the economy, abortion rights, and putting caps on pharmaceutical prices. Salvi says the top three are economy, education, and crime. This is uh, an issue that is clearly a differentiator between myself and my opponent. She doesn't support access to abortion at all. With, with no restrictions. The uptick in crime is at record proportion, and I would squarely put this on the, the uh, lap of uh, Tammy Duckworth, who every time she had an opportunity to vote, to fund the police, she voted against. Salvi, however, does not support a ban on assault weapons. Duckworth, an Army veteran, is a gun control advocate. I know what these weapons of war do to human bodies. They're not weapons for hunting, they're not weapons for target practice, they're weapons of war, they belong on the battlefield, not on the streets. Recent polls show Duckworth with about an eight point lead over Salvi, however Salvi has picked up support apparently in the last few weeks. There is just one week, however, before the election. In the loop, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.